I just want to see what it is. Just let me see what it is, boy. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Dude. Oh my gosh, it's... I think I'm going to need a bigger net. Thanks for tuning in to another Bama saltwater fishing episode. Today we're going to go try to get some redfish, trout, maybe bass, but we're just going to go try to see what we can get. It's been raining for freaking ever, but the sun's kind of out and I'm in the boat. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and hit it down below. Really easy just to go click it, but we're going to run our spot and try to see if we can find some fish. All right, time to drop the trolling motor here. I'm going to grab my Kitek 3.8 inch saltwater in the Fiji Chicks color on a 3 16 ounce Z-Man Trout Eyes Jig Head 20 pound Yoziri fluorocarbon. I'll be throwing this on my Shimano SLX bait casting reel split up with 20 pound suffix braid on a Fenwick HMG 7 foot medium heavy casting rod. Now, let's see if we can find some redfish or trout. Either one would be fine. All right, I just switched to a fluke style bait. I didn't rig it very straight, but it should work. It's a Berkeley Gulp. Chinook, pretty cool. Ooh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. What is it? What are you? They like the gulp. What is that, redfish? Yeah. Beautiful red, man. Beautiful redfish, man. Look at that. He ain't legal by no means, but it is just a pretty fish. Pretty colors, let's get him back. There you go, bud. There we go. Oh, there's one. There's another one. Oh yeah, there we go. Get a good hook set on it. It ain't big by no means, but I switched over to the gulp jerk shad. And now the fish are biting it. And that's a trout, it looks like. Whew. Is that, yeah, that's a, that's a, what? That's a beautiful speckled trout. Check out what a beautiful speckled trout on the Berkeley gulp jerk shad. So that's awesome. It isn't a keeper, so we're gonna let it go. But what a beautiful, beautiful fish time to let this fish go there you go man that's fun that was a redfish and a speckled trout literally back to back so and i'm just using this berkeley gulp bait i switched over and man does it make a freaking difference so let's see if we can get something else it doesn't take a lot to work it so you just got to match the profile of the bait that they're eating which is called match the hatch if you're familiar with that term if you fish a lot match the hatch will generally get you pretty good bites and what that means is you're when you show up to your fishing spot you look and see what's around you what kind of bait is there are there minnows are there shrimp popping are they eating mullet are they eating pogies what is the primary forage? like are they eating blue crabs what are they primary feeding on and then you can normally trigger trigger a strike from that and a change of color and a little bit of scent helps a lot too Ooh bait popping up right here a lot of bait being chased by oh there's one that's a good one there we go that's a good fish there we go ah, that's what i'm talking about that's a good one yeah it is what is that red fish <laughs> man what a beautiful red what a beautiful redfish check out the colors on that fish it's not a keeper i can already tell you that but it is a gorgeous fish so i want to get this berkeley gulp jerk shad out of its mouth and get it back in the water Let's see what we can do here there you go that was awesome what a beautiful fish that was so i'm gonna see if i can catch another one but they're just gorgeous in this in this water they're really dark colored orange pumpkins Oh, there we're, oh, there's a good one. 
Oh my gosh, there we go. Did y'all just see that? That was a that's a good fish. Dad go. Get the hook in it. Ah. There we go. Oh, don't go in the troll mode, you dummy. <laughs> there we go. Boat flip. Ah. Oh, and he loved that jerk shad, didn't you? I love these gulp baits from Berkeley, and then these Z-Man jig heads are the strongest jig heads I've ever used. I love them, and they have a great sharp hook point on them. But what an awesome fish. Can't complain about that one. <laughs> Let's get them back in the water. Oh, there he goes. Quick release. In the state of Alabama, these fish have to have a minimum length of 16 inches, and you can keep them all the way up to 26 inches. You can keep three per day. Out of those three per day, you can keep an oversized fish. That means you can keep one over 26 inches. I never do. Those are usually your breeder fish. I like to toss them back. All right, let's get another cast out here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's a good fish. There we go. I don't know what it is. It ain't giant. It's swimming towards me. <laughs> it isn't a really big fish. Could be a trout or a small red. No, well, it's not a bad fish. It's a nice red fish. It isn't a keeper though. Let's see if I can see if I can boat flip him. Woo! So this fish could be a keeper if I want it to be. He was 16 and a half, but I'm not keeping fish today. Look how black his back is super dark water that they're in and they just camouflage and sit right up in this grass but he ate the berkeley gulp five inch jerk shad so i'm gonna toss him back and keep on fishing there we go let's get you revived there you go swim off get bigger fight another day take my plano liquid bait locker here dip this gulp back into the gulp juice Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Is that a bass? Yeah. No, that's a trout. There we go. There we go. Don't think he's gonna be a keeper. They're supposed to be 15 to 22 inches. He's probably a 13 inch fish, but he freaking swallowed that thing. Tooth. Like the gulp. That yellow mouth, and that's why they call them snaggle tooth. They got those two top really big fangs to hold on and grab onto the bait and they have backwards facing teeth on top and then really good sharp teeth on the bottom so but he's too small we're gonna throw it back there you go bud mm. oh there we go mm, good fish good fish <laughs> whoa dude <laughs> freaking speckled trout that was so cool there he goes, I didn't get to show him. All right, that little trout, he came off and it wasn't the most graceful catch and release, but that was still pretty fun nevertheless. Feels like algae, no, that's a fish. Ah, felt like a fish. Yeah, that was a fish. Oh, there it goes again, there we go. Mm, another one, there we go. There we go, oh man, this thing fighting hard. What is it, a redfish? Oh, that's not a bad redfish, dude. Not a bad redfish. Check it out. Mm. Oh, man, that would be a legal redfish if I wanted to keep them. What a beautiful fish. Check that gorgeous fish out. Man, how pretty is that? It really liked that bait, tell you that. There you go. Oh, there's one. Feels like one, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, that's a good fish. Holy crap, dude. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Dude, that is a good fish. That right there is a freaking monster. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't know what I have right now, but it's a freaking monster, dude. Oh, come on. Holy crap, man. Is it gonna spool my bait caster? Dude, golly, I may have to, I don't know what to do here. I may have to freaking chase this fish. I tell you what I need to do, get the freaking net out. 
I am getting my net out. This is insane, man. I know, sorry, I'm not talking a lot, but dad, come. I really don't know what I have. <laughs> Dude, it took so much line out, that is nuts. But I really want to see what the heck this is. Could be a big old black drum. It's, it is fighting so hard. I haven't even seen it. Whew. That every little bit that I take, it is taken right back. This thing's huge. Oh. And I don't want to lose it. Even though I don't know what it is. I just want to see what it is. Just let me see what it is, Lord. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I can't turn this fish. Mm. I know y'all are anxious just as I am. Trust me, I'm freaking nervous right now. Because nothing I'm doing, I can't gain any line back. Dude. Oh my gosh, it's... Holy crap. Ah, it's getting tired, I know it. Ah, it's right here. I think I'm going to need a bigger net. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, buddy! Oh, and I almost fell. Okay, it's going around the boat. Oh, holy crap, it did not like the boat at all. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Quit. You was right there. You were right there. Mm. Oh, dude. You were just right here. Come on. Ah, come on. Mm, it just doesn't, it just won't stop pulling. It won't stop pulling. It is huge. It's a big old big ugly. <laughs> it's a big old black drum. What you doing? Come here, buddy. <laughs> You're freaking huge. <laughs> I, dude, I don't even, I can't even do anything with you. I need the bogus. <laughs> ah, holy crap, dude. Listen to him. That's why they call him drum. Oh crap, dude. Listen to him. That's so cool. I want to keep him out of the water as least as possible. Okay. <laughs> Can't even hold him up. Let's see what he weighs. 29 pounds on the boga. 29 pounds. <laughs> Woo! No! <laughs> this is the biggest fish I've landed on my freaking boat yet. He's freaking huge. Okay, I'm gonna get him back in the water, but this is what you call a black drum. So, awesome fish. Woo! Okay, we're gonna revive you here. I know it's tired. And I know I am too. <laughs> I know it wants to go. It's got a lot of lactic acid built up in its muscles. And it fought hard, but there it goes and swims away for another fight, another day. <laughs> that was awesome. Holy crap. I need to take a breather. That was a 30 pound fish. It came up to 29.9 pretty much on the boga grip. So I'm going to call it 30. But uh, on the freaking Shimano SLX 20 pound braid and one of those Z-mans. And check out that hook. That hook is not bent out whatsoever and i put a lot of pressure on that fish and that fenwick freaking muscled it in not the ideal setup to catch a fish that big <laughs> but it can do it it just started taking line i thought it was a big bull red the way the color of it looked in this water but obviously we saw it was a big old black drum but this is a great stopping point to end the video here but if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. It benefits the channel greatly. And you can keep up with some great, fun, entertaining, and educational content to help you catch more fish and be successful and have fun at fishing. I appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, that thumbs up below this video if you enjoyed this video. Everything that I'm using, I'm going to try to link in the description below. So just check below this video. That was a great, fun, fulfilled hard fighting freaking day caught a bunch of smaller fish could have kept a few of those red fish but i'm not keeping fish today and then ended it on a freaking giant hard fighting freaking wore me down fish that big old big ugly black drum 
But thanks for watching. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you on another video later. Later.